What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're confused about my hair, if this is the first video of mine that you've seen in a while, I will have my video linked down below all about my hair transformation, but I did cut it, I got bangs, I changed the color. I filmed a video a few months ago where it was inspired by Friends, the TV show, fashion, so like 90s style outfits, very inspired by the outfits. I wasn't recreating them, but I was getting ins inspiration from them. And you guys seem to really love that video, so I thought, why not continue this series it's been a few months now but I you know I got married I had things to do and we are back in action I'm just really excited about it so as you can see from the title we are doing that 70s show what were you and Donna talking all hot and heavy about your hair really <laughs> no. if you are new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the notifications so that you never miss these types of videos but I have a lot of fun ones planned coming up so stay tuned for that we started watching that 70s show and I really really forgot how funny that show is it's definitely different but it's a part of my childhood I guess and I love 70s fashion I just think it's so awesome. It's very different from what I normally wear. I feel like my style is very casual, laid back 90s vibes. But 70s, I'm loving it. McDonald's? With friends, I will have that link down below if you guys want to see it. But I had this challenge to myself that I wasn't going to spend any money and I was going to use clothing only in my closet and that was easy because like I said my style is very 90s and as you know Friends is a 90s show primarily 90s. That 70s show although it was starting in like the early 2000s late 90s I think I don't remember exactly what year it was based in the 70s so the style is very different than mine so there are a few things that I owned that I did use for this video because I feel like I have been kind of switching up my style a little bit but I did cheat and I went out and bought a few other things to kind of complete the looks. I, I wanted to make this video good. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer. These are not 100% 70s outfits. They are inspired. They are not a copycat of the outfits from the show. I've taken certain characters. I've kind of blended the characters together. I basically incorporated all of their styles into something that I could wear or that you guys can wear in this day and age. Or if not, if you have this type of style, go for it. The biggest thing I want to say too is that that you can find a lot of these items at thrift stores, which is like the best place to shop. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I'm gonna start off with Jackie. Here's what I don't get. Why would Sally sell seashells down by the seashore? I mean, that's a terrible location for a seashell stand. She's my favorite character. I love her so much. She's so funny. I love Mila Kunis. She's one of my favorite actresses. I can't believe she was like 14 when the show started filming. That is insane to me how young she was. I think she lied about her age. But anyways, her style is throughout the seasons. It's similar but different at the same time. So Jackie's definitely more feminine. She experiments more with fashion. And I do notice that a lot of the times she loves to wear neck scarves. Have you never done it yet? Yeah, we did it and I forgot to mention it. I guess if I were Eric's girlfriend, I would not be in a hurry to do it either. <laughs> so what I decided to do for my first outfit was to pair a pair of bell bottoms, flared pants, I don't really know what to call them, with a bodysuit. Now this bodysuit is to me very 70s and I just really like it so I paired those together and then I included a necktie which a lot of you guys thought I was doing a video about 70s flight attendants which I could totally see but that's not at all the vibe I was going for but thank you for that. And then I threw over a cross Cropped teddy coat type jacket. The fit of this jacket to me is very 70s. I don't know about the teddy material, but I think the, the style of it is like, I would so see Jackie wearing something like that. And then as for shoes, I just have on pointed toe, long 70s inspired shoes. This outfit also kind of reminded me of something that like Kelso would wear and a mix of Fez without the necktie. Um, but Fez, definitely that collared shirt. Summer to black, okay, summer to black. Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> the bell bottoms definitely is something Kelsa would wear and the jacket, so I think it's kind of a mix between all of them, but I was inspired by Jackie and her neckties, and I have seen her wear a few things like that, so I thought it was really interesting and really cool. This outfit actually is so nice and so flattering. I really love it. I'm actually gonna be wearing this outfit out. Like, it's not just for the purpose of this video. I actually love that style and love that look, so I'm really excited about it. Now the next outfit is inspired by Kelso. You know what? You choose. Kiss any girl you want. Oh. 
I choose you. Kelso, to me, has a very simple laid back style, but he does rock the bell bottoms. And so I've seen him a few times wear corduroy bell bottoms. And so I had this pair from Free People and I absolutely love it. And I had this cropped band tee that was like, the shoulders are different colors. I don't know what it's called. I used to call them baseball tees, but I don't think that's what they're called at all. But Kelso does wear a lot of shirts like that. So I thought it would be really cool. Plus this is a crop tee. So it goes really well with the high-waisted bell bottom pants. And then I wore it with the same type of shoes I wore in the first outfit, just different color. And I think what would make this outfit even better would be to add a belt. I just didn't have one on hand at the moment. I didn't think of it. But looking back, I would have totally added a belt. I think that would have been so awesome. Yeah, this look to me just screamed Kelso. But in all honesty, again, I saw my dad wearing stuff like this. Obviously not a crop top. That would be funny. But, you know, shirts like that. Same sort of style. Bell bottoms. Boots. <laughs> Donna, I feel like, is similar to me. She's more casual, laid back. You are way too young to be saying I love you. Shut up, Jack. You say it to Kelso all the time, and you're, like, younger than me. Not in love years. I enjoy her style and her fashion. It's pretty chill. So, bell-bottom jeans, a must. These are actually, like, super comfortable. They're, I don't think they're real denim. They're really stretchy. And then wearing them with a similar top that has, like, the red sleeves. Kind of looks like a baseball tee, but not... I just think it looks so good together. And then I'm wearing that with some Converse shoes. It looks great. I think the outfit is so casual, but it has a 70s touch and is so wearable in this day and age. I think it's great. I love that the 70s are making a comeback. From Donna, if you switch up the shirt and put on a different shirt, then you have Hyde. You know, I mean, Jackie's kind of young. She only had like one boyfriend, so. Hey, that's not a big surprise. You know, she's a bitch. Oh, no. If you guys want to take off some clothes and shake some stuff, feel free. <laughs> And Hyde is always kind of known for wearing band tees. I don't have any skin tight band tees. I definitely have band tees of bands from the 70s. So this one, obviously Keith Richards for president. <laughs> but you cannot have a full Hyde look without the tinted sunglasses. He is so known for his tinted sunglasses and these are the only ones I owned already. They broke literally the first time I wore them but they're awesome and I think it looks so good with this outfit. And again, something I would actually wear out. And then moving on to Foreman. Yeah, right. I'll walk you home. She lives right next door. Yeah. <laughs> And so Foreman is, again, super casual, but a lot of times wears dress shirts and I wanted to wear something that I could actually see myself wearing out. So I found this green sweater, found it off of ASOS and it looked so different in person than it did online and I'm kind of bummed about it, but it looked cool and you guys kind of get the vibe I'm going for. The tighter sweater with the blocks on it. So when you just switch up the tops, you're going from Donna to Hyde to Foreman and it's awesome because they have very similar styles. A lot of them wear bell bottom jeans with Converse, sneakers, simple shoes, and then they usually jazz up the top. Now this outfit is a bit more fancy. This is something I could definitely see Lori or Jackie wearing when they're a bit dressed up. Great dress shirt. This dress shirt, I thought the vibe of it was so nice. The colors were awesome. You have the block stripes um, with the tie at the bottom. It looks really good paired with the pants. And then to tie it all off, you have these sandals. Now these sandals I bought specifically for this video, but I really thought this vibe was nice. So yeah, those are the inspired outfits that I have for today. I hope these inspired you guys. And remember with fashion, it's all about what you take from it. So you can see somebody dress a certain way. You can take inspiration from that person, kind of make it your own. And that's my favorite thing to do when it comes to fashion is like seeing something that you really love and that you're really inspired by and then making it your own. And that's kind of what I want to do with these videos is not recreating looks or like styling looks to look the same as the person, but grabbing inspiration from things I see in TV shows that I like or movies or whatever and it might be and making it my own. And I feel like you guys can do the same. You can see these outfits and be like, you know what? I don't love those shoes with that, but I would do it with this. Or I don't love those types of jeans, but I like the shirt and I like the shoes. I'm going to switch out the pants. Things like that I think is so great and what makes fashion so fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next in this series. And also let me know who your favorite character is on that side show or if you even watch that 70s show and if you don't if you're gonna start watching it because it's honestly really funny and entertaining <laughs> oh honey it's blush not spray paint <laughs>
But um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I also forgot to mention I have this plant right here that's definitely dying behind me. I've tried everything in my power to save this plant. It is just not down for that. So keep it groovy. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. In this abandoned amusement park We come to life when it turns dark We're just carnival hearts, you and me